Proudly, we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, Here's another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your army to bring you this story. As proudly we hail the United States Army. Our story today is entitled, An Arm Like Iron. This is a story about Willie, the manager of a team and a star pitcher, Bert, who had an arm like iron and a head to match. You know, a man with a good eye to the future makes a good soldier. And that's why so many bright young men and women are joining the United States Army now. For Army life is an exciting career. And there's plenty of room up at the top. And today, American soldiers get the finest technical training in the world. Every man is a specialist, a master at his job. And the Army sees to it that every man is trained to do his job and do it right. Because the Army is growing so fast, today's soldiers are being promoted fast. Now, you work hard, sure. But believe me, the rewards are really well worth it. The Army needs healthy, intelligent young men and women, volunteers from 18 to 34. So if you've got what it takes, think seriously about an Army career. Stop in at your nearest United States Army recruiting station today. Get all the facts, all the facts about what the Army has to offer you. Remember, there's no obligation, so plan ahead. Face your tomorrow today. And now your United States Army presents the proudly we hail production, An Arm Like Iron. I ain't saying we had the division championship sewed up or anything like that. All I say is things look mighty good. That isn't until Marvin Flugelman showed up and opened his big mouth. Uh, what's the use? Here I come up to the beginning of the season with a team that should take all the marbles, and then the first thing you know, the whole deal blows up in my face. I mean, now look, you don't have to believe me. Everybody figured it was a foregone conclusion. Like that time in the service club, I was talking to Grogan. Uh, he manages the 412 team. I don't mind you having an outfield that hits close to 400. That ain't too bad. But then on top of that, you got a pitcher like Bite. I'm telling you, Willie, it ain't fair. Oh, I got a pretty good organization, Grogan. Yeah, 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 I'll admit that. It wasn't easy, though. I mean, I had the material all right, but it was quite a job molding it into a team. Yes, sir, quite a job. A uh, big job, but a pitcher like Bite, I could do a little molding myself. That guy's got an arm like iron. Yeah, but after Bite, who have I got? He's it. Did you ever stop to think about I'll that? I'll trade you my whole pitching staff for him, and I'll throw him in my first baseman. Now, what do you think of that? What kind of trade? Trade? <laughs> this is the army, Grogan. You work with what you got. You don't trade. I don't know. I don't know. Some guy's got all the luck, it's all. The way he hits. Not only is he the best pitcher around, he also drives the longest ball in the whole base. And don't forget my catch and Grogan. I don't do so bad behind the plate, remember? Ah, uh, you I can do without. That bird, there's a ball player. I don't know what you're crying about. You got a pretty good organization over there in the 412th. Not exactly in our class, of course, yeah. but, uh, well, it's a good club. I suppose they're all right. We lose that game to you tomorrow, Willie. We'll be out of here running for the division championship. Oh, you'll lose, all right. But you put up a good fight, Grogan. It's one thing I got to admit. Oh, thanks. Well, I got to be running along now. I want to tuck Bite into the sack. He's got to get a good night's sleep or he won't shut you guys out tomorrow. All right, wise guy. Bitey. Oh, Bitey boy. Oh, and there you the are. example of conversion hysteria we find the patient using symptoms to solve psychological conflicts. Come on, Bertie this... boy. Time to go sleepy by. All right, hold it, Willie. Yeah, you, you were saying, Marv, there, uh... Yes, sir. 
This creates situations where the peripheral organs seem to be affected, but actually the disturbance is at the level of ideas. I see. Thus, pseudo-neurological motor symptoms are one of the commonest manifestations of hysteria. Enough, enough and already. That is very interesting. Yeah, sure, Mark. it certainly is. Uh, what does it mean? Oh, no, don't be a wise guy. It's very interesting, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means simply that the things that bother us frequently have their origin in our mind. Uh -huh. Like sometimes a patient has pains in his legs, can't walk maybe, and then the doctor finds out that this happens only after a certain kind of emotional disturbance. You see what I mean? His sickness is really, as they say, psychosomatic. All right, thank you, Dr. Flugelman. Now can we go to sleep? Hey, is that really on the level, Mav? Straight medical dope. What do you know about so that? So let's eh? knock off the chatter and get some sleep. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, I'll be seeing you, fellas. Yeah, so long, Mav. Good night, Dr. Flugelman. <laughs> That guy murders me. Extremely brilliant guy, Willie. You got to admit that. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Now, for instance, you, you take that idea. Here, never, so never I... mind that. I got something important to tell you. Yeah? You remember how much trouble that second baseman in the 412th gave us the last time we played him? They spoiled my no-hitter. That's yeah. the boy. Mm -hmm. Well, go on, Bert. You can get ready for the sack while I'm talking. Go on, go on. Right. Now, as I say, I found out how to pitch him. What do you give him? High, hard one between the ears? Yeah, no wisecracks, will you? Now, what you gotta do, birdie boy, when I give you the sign is shoot him one across the letters on the inside, in tight, and he's dead. You mean it? Dead! I'm telling you, he can't make a move. Okay, we'll give that a try tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Hey, you know that, that, that psycho... psychosomatic deal there Marv was talking about? Sleepy well, I... bye, birdie boy. Off we go to the land of night. All right, I'm going. And that's the way it began. Simple, right? I mean, it was a plain old barracks bull session. You've probably heard a couple of thousand of them yourself. Now, who could have known that it was pretty near going to wreck our chances for the division championship? Eh, what's the use? I should have stopped him the minute he opened his mouth. Him and his psychosomatic. Well... This here trouble I'm telling you about didn't take hardly any time at all getting started. It was peaceful and quiet in the barracks that night. I was dreaming we had the 412th, 8 to nothing when... Willie... Huh? Hey, Willie, wake up. I, I, uh, I want to talk to you. What's the matter? What, what, what happened? Willie, what happened? listen now. There, there, there is a lot of truth in what Marvin says. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir. I'll uh, bet uh, you 75% of uh, all our troubles, they start right up here in the old uh, doodle. It's just like Marvin yeah, says. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Will you, now, you, you take, take, take my case, for instance. Sleep. You know, I, I can be feeling great. Picture uh, myself a whale of a uh, game, and then somebody comes along, mm. does something unfriendly. Yeah. I go haywire. Yeah, yeah, I, I my, see my, what you my mean, My chest, Mike. you know, and the chest, the old chest tightens up. I get shooting pains in my arm, and that plate shrinks to about the size of a dime, Willie. Now, tell me, ain't that what you mean, a, a psychosomatic reaction? Yeah, 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 sure. Hey, Bert, what time is it, huh? Well, it's about 3.30. Well, I, I'm, I'm telling you, Willie, these, these pains... 3.30? What's the matter with you? You crazy as I just wanted to tell you about my psychosomatic... Knock off the psychosomatic garbage and get some sleep. Oh, boy, when I get hold of that mob and him and his ideas. All right, you guys. How about shutting up so we can all get some sleep? You get an idea what I was up against? Hmm? Well, we played the 412th the next day, and we did pretty good against them. We had them four to one in the bottom of the eighth, and it looked like we would breeze home without drawing a deep breath. I uh, was having a little trouble with the umpire. He was a corporal from HQ. All right, let's okay, go. Okay, F. All right, go with me, Bertie boy. Just work easy there, kid. Easy now. That's the way to work it out, Bertie boy. Ball one. What? Hey, what's the matter? You leave your C.I. dog home? Ball? Play I ball. I was right in there, Up. It was perfect. Too wide. Too wide? What do you mean, too wide? All right, can it chatter and play ball? All right. All right. Watch it in there, will you, Up? Bernie boy, baby! All right, Bernie boy! You look good in there! Lots of stuff in there, kid! Ball two! Oh, come on up! That one had the corner and you know it! Inside and low! That was the most perfect pitch I ever saw! I stopped beefing and played ball! What's the matter? You got a bet going on the 412th? 
Anybody call that pitcher ball must have some money riding in this I'll game. I'll one more crack like that and I'll throw you out of the game. The way we're getting robbed here, what difference would it make? I'm warning you. Hey, what are you going to do? Guy's blind. All right, Bertie boy, let's get him this time. Boy, you're working fine on that kid. Hey, right, let's go now, boy. Ball three. Uh, all right, let's bear it down in there, Bertie buddy. This, this boy's all yours. All yours is given to me here, Bertie boy. Right here. Ball four. Take your face. All right, time out, um. What's the matter, boy? The arm giving you trouble? You don't have a thing in there right now. Well, my, uh, my, my shoulder feels kind of tight. You twisted or something? No, no, just tighten up, that's all. And I, I got a pain shooting down through the back of my arm. It's Look, only one, with... one more in and see. J -j just, just lop it in there. Uh, huh? I don't know. Bird, you're the only pitcher we got. What you is on leave, and even if he wasn't, that, that, that guy couldn't pitch pennies into the Grand Canyon. Boy, it's up to you. Well, now, look, Willie, I'd be all right if it wasn't for that umpire. Don't pay any attention to that guy. Just hit the target and we're in. You don't like me, Willie. Who, who what? That umpire, he don't like me. Of course he don't like you. That bomb don't like his own mother. Why, she like you. <laughs> uh, hot one, huh? He's got something against me, Willie. That's why my shoulder went haywire on me. The minute Will I you saw... stop fooling around? This is an important I game. I happen to be a sensitive guy, Willie. I know there's nothing wrong with my arm. It's... It's like Marvin says, a reaction, a, a, a psychosomatic, psychosomatic re reaction. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that's hey, what I was afraid of. Hey, what's the matter you guys? Look, you going to spend the rest of the afternoon gabbing? Come on, let's get this show on the road. Okay, uh, just take it easy. Now, birdie boy, bear down in there, will you, huh? J -j just, just get it over the place. Where do I get my hands on that Marvin? Five, four! <laughs> And there went the ball game. They scored six runs in the eighth and we're dead. Eh, what are you going to do? I mean, I don't mind blowing a game now and then. That happens to the best of teams. But to lose because the umpire don't like you, that's, that's just a little too much for me. I decided to get hold of Marvin and straighten things out once and for all. Him and his psychosomatic. But, Willie, it isn't my fault. He happens to have a neurocirculatory asthenia, and the pains are psychosomatic manifestations. Marvin, until you opens your big mouth, until you opens your mouth, Bert didn't know the difference between a psychosomatic and a hydromatic. Now he's one great big nervous reaction, and that nitwit. Yes, he's in bad shape. Or... Marvin, you're a pretty smart guy. You talked him into the deal, now talk him out of it. That won't be so easy. Look, if you don't get that guy straight now, we're going to lose the division championship. Yes, I guess that's right, Willie. But I don't know what there is I can do about I'll it. I'll tell you what you're going to do, Marvin. You're going to become the assistant manager of the team. Huh? Assistant manager in charge of mental health. And if you don't cure Bert of the psycho, what you call it, in one big hurry, you'd better apply for a transfer because I'm going to take you apart, Marvin. Remember what I'm telling you. Some fix, huh? I'm sitting there with the best team on the whole base. Maybe the best one in the entire command, for all I know. And I am helpless because Marvin told Bird he's got a nervous system. I mean, did you ever hear anything like that in all your life? Just, just, just think about it, huh? The best pitcher. The guy's got an arm like iron. And my luck, he's got to have a head to match. You are listening to the proud Louis Hale production, An Arm Like Iron. And we will return in just one moment for the second act. Ask most anyone what they want out of life, and a great majority of the answers can be boiled down to just one word. That one word is happiness. Well, now, happiness is a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but basically, I guess you might say that it's the achievement of your goals. To be happy is to be successful in whatever you do. And in today's highly specialized world, training is the key to success. If you're a young man of service age, you can get free training worth thousands of dollars by enrolling now in your United States Army's new Reserve for You training program. Under this plan, you can enter the course of your choice and be trained in such interesting fields as X-ray operation, photography, automotive maintenance, and communications. In all, there are over 100 courses to choose from. So for complete information on how you can benefit from this program, you visit your local United States Army recruiting station. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of An Arm Like Iron. And that 
thoughts about the way the games went from then on. We'd be going along pretty good, leading by a couple of runs maybe, and all of a sudden, without any warning whatsoever, something would come sailing in from someplace out in left field that'd rub Bert's neuropsychological gazinkas the wrong way, and pow, there went the ball game. The way things were going, I felt that any minute I'd wind up cutting out paper dolls myself. Well, I guess it's all over, Willie. Huh? Over, finished. I'm not going to blow the games anymore. You're not? You mean it, Bite? Sure, that was a pretty crummy deal. You guys working your hearts out, you're building me up a lead and then having me blow it just like that. That ain't right. That's Jack. all right, Bite. We, we know you can't help it. Well, I'm going to do something about it now, boy. <laughs> you're going to forget all about that psychosomatic garbage that Marvin's been feeding you, right, buddy? I mean, uh, that's all you got to do. I just don't go for this business of letting my buddies die. That's a way to talk, buddy boy. The fellas sure will be glad to hear this. Yes, sir. I made up my mind to do something It'll about be it. just like old times again. You pitching shut I out. I decided and, to quit playing ball. Batting out the old bingo. What? What? Was that you said? I said well, I said I was quitting baseball. I I just ain't suited for that. Yeah, but, 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 but you can't you, you know? can't do that, boy. Marvin, Marvin, get over here and look at what you did, Marvin. What, what's the matter? What, what uh, happened? I just think it'd be better for all concerned. I, I given it my careful consideration. Oh, Willie. that's all you got to say? Oh, he's wrecking my career. Do something. Yes, yes. Now, 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 Bert, I I don't think you're doing the wisest thing. Huh? You can't solve a problem by running away from well, it. Well, I, I, I guess I just wasn't meant to be a baseball player, that's all. That isn't the problem. What we have to do is correct your psycho Marvin! Well, you think I, I, I shouldn't quit, Marvin? Huh? Oh, definitely not. No, no. What we have to do is meet the problem head on and conquer it. Recognizing the nature of the problem is... <laughs> There wasn't any improvement in the situation. As a matter of fact, it got worse. We kept losing game after game until the lead we built up in the beginning of the season was all gone. Can you imagine that? We were six full games ahead, and then Marvin, with the help of that iron-headed pitcher of mine, blew the whole weeks. Well, we wound up in a tie for first place with the 412th. We had to play him one more game to see who would take the championship. It looked hopeless. Willie, what's the matter with you? You don't look so good. Oh, I'm tired. You didn't sleep so good, right, Willie? Nervous tension. Nervous tension, my eye. I was reading that crummy book of yours. Recent advances in psychosomatic medicine. Oh, very thrilling, isn't it? Yeah, it's really... I didn't know you cared for that sort of thing. I don't. I was trying to get some information on Bert. I thought maybe I could find a way to straighten him out. Oh, you can't do that, Willie. The cure is going to have to come from within him. That's the only way. That's funny. All my trouble came from within you. How can you say a thing like that, Willie? Didn't I persuade Bert to continue playing? Yeah, 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 I suppose so. Play it, ball! Oh, boy. I wouldn't mind sitting this one out. Come on, Willie. Come on out of that dugout and take your beating like a man. All right, all right. I'm coming. Well, here goes nothing. Well, uh... How do you feel, Bertie boy? You gonna mow him down? Yeah, I feel fine. Eddie. Let's take him like we used to in the old days. Sure, Willie. Out of here, Rip. All right. All right, Bertie boy. Work easy, that kid. Work easy. All the time in the world, boy. Right? One. That's the way to chuck him in there, boy. That's the way to work, kid. You look good in there, Bertie boy. Look good. Bert was pitching like his old self again. The hooks were breaking sharp, his fast one had a hop on it, and his control was perfect. I'm telling you, when that boy's right, you just can't beat him. Well, we had him 5-1 in the top of the seventh, and one of the 412s gets himself a scratch single. On the second pitch, this fool hardy soul decides to steal second base. So I scoop up the ball, and I throw a perfect strike to the second baseman. I had him by at least six feet. You're out! The guy was out of my mind. That stealing stuff don't go on old Willie, no siree. Well, it didn't take no time at all, and Grogan came shooting out onto the field like a banshee with a hot foot. Time out, time out, time out, time out. You can't do this to us. Some people will save you. I mean, you can't. Keep, keep going to me, buddy boy. I want your arm to cool off. Okay. 
He's out. Play ball. But he never even tagged him. He waved at him with a ball and he missed him. Didn't you see him slide right under that ball? Batter up! Oh, <laughs> what a laugh. Didn't tag him. <laughs> that second baseman of mine tagged him so hard he put a dent in him. But you know Grogan always shooting his mouth off. Hey, you're gonna win a game with a bunch of robbers like that. Hey, bite! Yeah. Bite, you know something? What? I hate your guts. Oh. Hey, Grogan. What's the big idea, Grogan? Oh. What's the matter? Bertie boy, how do you feel? I don't know, Willie. That, that shoulder, that kind of tightened up there. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Ump, you gonna let him get away with that? He do something? What'd I do? Well, you heard him tell my pitcher that he hates his guts. So? Well, he can't do a thing like that. Why not? Yeah, why not? This is a free country, Willie. I got a right to my opinion. Oh, I know, but you... Look, what am I supposed to do? Have a nice little boy's kiss and make up? Nah, just tell him to shut up. Now, listen, Willie. Anytime I don't like a guy, I'm gonna say so. That's the way I'm built. It just so happens I can't stand the sight of that big bar. Oh, no. No, I... no, no, bite, bite. No, no, oh, listen, Willie. Boy. Willie, that, that pain. That shooting right all the way down my arm. Oh, no. All right, you oh, guys, oh. let's stop horsing around and play a little baseball. Now oh, I heard everything. He don't like it. And there went the ball game. Everybody and his kid brother started to hit. Before the massacre was over, they scored six runs. And all of them were two out. So there we were in the short end of a 7-5, scoring things getting blacker by the minute. Let me tell you how we finally got the third out. The second baseman of theirs is hitting a nice fat 203 for the season. All right, everybody hits, everybody. Watch it there, Joe. Now watch it. Don't make a face at him. He's gonna cry. Careful now. Get it over, Bert. Just get it over, Bertie boy. This guy can't even hit the hay. Bert, please. Watch it, Bert. Bert. Right in the head. How do you like that? A drive like that's good for at least two bases. That slob has to get his head in the way. So the ball hits Bert in the head and sails out to center field on the fly where Tommy catches it for the final out. And that's how we finally retire the side. Does it hurt much, Bert? It feels kind of numb. About the same as usual, huh? No. You, you know something, Mop? I, I don't feel tight or nervous or anything the way I did before. I feel different. Uh, different, huh? Very interesting. This kind of trauma yeah, can yeah, cause... Yeah, 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 yeah. Different. Uh, huh. Uh, I remember reading about a case uh, just like this. You do? Well, I, I didn't know you were interested in oh, this. Oh, but I am, Marv. I am. Now, according to Leffelheim studies in Vienna, a shock like that could uh, straighten out the whole deal. On the level? Without a doubt. Now, whereas formerly the attitude of those guys over in the 412th made you fold up, now it should only make you want to tear them apart. Oh, now, Willie, I wouldn't be so sure Marvin. about that. Huh? Oh, oh yes, 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 Willie. Well, you mean you mean a, a sock and a skull like that could fix my arm? Make me play ball again the way I used to? Then? Exactly. Willie. That is to say, it can work only if you have what we call in the trade a, uh, a sensitive psyche. Now, if you're some kind of dim-witted slob, it won't work. Oh, no, I, I'm an extremely sensitive person. Willie, you know that, okay, don't you? Okay, okay, huh? buddy, then this is the scoop. And let me tell you, this Leffelheim knows his stuff. He says that this should release you, uh, your uh, suppressed aggressions. <laughs> uh, according to him, you should go out there and and murder him. Hey, hey. what happened? Wilson got a hit. Oh, that's man on first and second. Well, I'll get a bat. I'm up. Well, maybe I ought to send a hitter up for you, boy. I'm all right, Will. You sure? Yeah, I feel fine. Okay, now, boy. boy. Go on out and move those guys around. We need a couple of runs. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, Willie. Huh? Willie, who is this Leffelheim? Don't bother me now, Marv. I'm watching a game. I don't think there's any such person if you want my opinion on this. I don't want your opinion. And anyway, in a country like Austria, there's got to be a guy like Leffelheim. That was false information, Willie, and you know it. Will you knock off the chatter and pay attention to the game? Okay, Harry, now just toss the ball, understand? And don't make any faces, because little Bertie's liable to cry. Be very careful. <laughs> hey, watch it, Bert. Hey, hey, uh... He, he threw it, Dustin. He tried to put that one right in his ear. Willie, I don't think I feel so good. I, I, I guess Leffelheim is right. You just don't have the personality. Yeah, but Willie... Why, in this ball... kind of a situation, if you had a sensitive psyche, you'd be a sense for a two-bagger right now. I mean, it's all in the literature. You, you, you could look it up. Can we go on with the game now, Professor? Okay, Willie, I'll, I'll show you I got a sensitive psyche. Play ball! Now remember, Harry, not to run. All right.
right, wise guy. I'll teach you to throw it in my head. Just put it in there. I'll show you, boy. Hey, listen to that, Mob. I think it may work. I don't know, Wes. I never heard of treating a neurocirculatory asthenia in this manner. I'm afraid it just won't. All right, all right. Shut up, Arun. I'll teach you to fool around with my psych. You miserable bum, you! Come on, just put it in there! Here it comes. He's winding up now. Hey, he did it! He did it! Marvin, will you look at that drive? 475 feet if it's an inch. But I don't know how this is going to affect his overall attitude. I wouldn't Atta be boy, surprised. boy, fight! That's the way to knock him in there! Three beautiful runs! Hey, Marv, did I figure this one out? I tell the truth, didn't I? Well, I think maybe Bert will have hyper-aggressive tendencies now. And that can be just as difficult a problem. So we had him eight to seven going into the eighth inning. I was still worried about how he'd pitch, but I didn't have to worry. That was the old bird out there. You know what he did? He fanned the next six batters on 20 pitches. I mean, you ever hear of a thing like that? There's no getting away from it. The guy's got an arm like iron. Only trouble is, of course, he's got a head to match. So what are you going to do? Well, that's how we took the championship. And I want to tell you, this managing racket is no cinch. I was so nervous and run down from the psychosomatic garbage that it took me clean up to the middle of the football season to regain my health. You know, in the world of music, the melody plus a good arrangement and a good performer most often determines a song's success. In drama, well, the play's a thing. Plus, of course, good actors to deliver the lines. And in whatever occupation you choose, training and teamwork are the reasons for success. If you're a young man of service age, you can be trained for success in the course of your choice by enrolling now in the United States Army's new technical training program. There are over 64 courses to choose from in such fields as radar, guided missiles, automotive maintenance, and, well, the medical services. These are only a few. And if you act now, you can make your application and rest assured that you have a class space set aside in your name. If you're a high school graduate, we suggest you investigate this outstanding opportunity right now. So for complete information, you visit your nearest United States Army recruiting station. Team up with the Army, and you team up with success. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this radio station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army, and this is Richard Hayes speaking, and inviting you to tune in the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail.